rate of infection of HPV in young women, college uh, age women, uh, is about 60%. The majority of them have it and in some cases some statistics reflect higher. If you have a girl who has been exposed to HPV and then she goes and gets a vaccine, the pre-licensing data from Merck shows that they are 44.6% more likely to develop cervical lesions. That's insane that they were still, despite that evidence, the FDA still allowed Merck to fast track that vaccine to market, even though they showed that it can increase cancer rates. This vaccine is not safe. It's not financially rational and it's not necessary. So essentially, we've manufactured a crisis and created a solution that's very lucrative for many, but harms our children. When one is vaccinated with this vaccine and that person already has the HPV virus, it increases their chances of developing cervical and other cancers. So we are putting our children not only at risk in all of the ways that we've already seen with the adverse events and um, the, the challenges, the autoimmune conditions, and things that these children go through are heartbreaking. But we're also looking at the possibility of increasing down the road the likelihood that many of these children could develop additional cancers because of this vaccine, even those that aren't initially injured. This is a huge issue. We have to ask these questions. We have to study this more carefully.